All right, welcome everybody. Wednesday's Team Mana Action Party. We get to do the thing. We spend a lot of other training calls talking about how to do the thing, how to get in the mindset of doing the thing, how other people do the thing. And today on Wednesdays, we get to do the thing together and draw on this collective energy that we're all contributing to for belief building, for um, motivation, for focus, for accountability. So it's really fun and really special. And just so you guys know, these, these action parties have been so successful and um, productive that it's actually inspired the rest of Bliss Ohana. Like now every other leader, all the other leaders are doing these um, just because we started it in this group. So we can feel a little excited and proud about that. And so fun that we get to just share with each other what's working and what, what tools are, are working. So we all get to rise together. Such an incredible paradigm we're in here. <laughs> Party entering the future together, the ancient future. Here we are in the now. So um, to kick us off with um, Mary, actually, I was going to co-host this with Mary, but she and Rita and Tala are in a social media training right now for um, how to, let me see if I can get this right. It's basically like bringing awareness and consciousness to how to show up, I believe, as allies for BIPOC right now on social media, specifically like how to navigate that realm. So they're going to bring their wisdom to us um, in some format. So I'm excited about that. So we have some incredible two speakers and then we're just going to get into action. And if you're brand new or you're not familiar with action parties, we get to hear from two people who have been in action and the language they're using to inspire us and, and give us some food for thought and, and some like script. I, I hesitate to use the word script because the idea is to just take the ideas from it and make it your own. And then we just get into action so that, so it actually might be silent after this and general guidelines after um, we hear our shares is that we're sitting there messaging people, calling people, filling out our tracker sheet as we, send messages and respond to messages and follow-ups. And if you have questions, if you feel lost, if you don't know how to respond to something, if you want feedback, you can come off mute and ask, or you can type it in the chat, or you can privately type it to your upline. However you wanna do it is fine. Um, we're gonna keep the content of our questions to specifically reaching out to people. So of course you might have all kinds of other questions about your business and those you're gonna to direct to your upline support thread or a coaching call with your upline or you know other places, direct message. But this call is just to talk about language um, it, as it relates to messaging people and calling people about opening conversations and sharing Ethereum and moving through those steps. Okay, cool. Give me a thumbs up if that's all landing. And um, awesome. So first to kick us off, I'm going to bring on my dear sis, Allison, who has been on this journey almost as long as I have. So we're like OG crew sisterhood here. And We've gone um, super deep and it's so great to develop these friendships and this business and know that like we're in this for the long haul. So to know each other so deeply and to be continually lifting each other up, cheering each other on, being there as a shoulder to cry on when we need all of that. I just really love you, Allison, and really honor how um, how powerful you are and your journey has so much been about learning how to like harness that power and how to like wield it and, and channel it and focus it to um, all the magnificent gifts that you're here to offer the planet. So 
I know that you posted a pretty like full tracker sheet on Sunday. So I'd love to hear like what language is working for you, um, what strategies are working for you. And um, yeah, just love to hear your voice. Thanks for being on here, Mama. All right, shiny diamond, Allison. Ah, aloha. Thank you, Christina. I'm so grateful to be here with you all. Thank you all for showing up for yourselves. Just um, echoing you, Christina, down this journey with you and see you rise up all the way to the ground now. And now, knowing where kind of we started and where we've been with the lava flow on this island together and from all of us showing up on your land and we're all in the mud and in the dirt and you're on your homestead there and we're like, <laughs> we've been through so much. I just had so many um, amazing, powerful memories over the last three years and how this, this path has been such a, an anchor and um, yeah, I am really finally feeling like I'm able to um, speak to what it takes really to succeed in this business. I just ranked Diamond the last um, couple months, double ranked, and then re-ranked Diamond last month. And I'm just stepping into the real clarity and what it's taking to kind of bring it all together. And um, in this last week, I reached out, I used my tracker and I was called out like, which really made sense to me. It's like, use your tracker and post it and be there for your team to duplicate. And really, you know, what we do, our team will do in excess, but we need to show up as leaders. And even if you're, you know, a consultant bringing, bringing souls in to really own that kind of energy of our um, mana, our power, and being that which we desire to call in and so a lot of it has been mindset and um, getting into that mindset that I am worthy and um, and I don't need to be weird don't be weird when you're reaching out <laughs> I mean it's okay if you're weird but I'm just learning to not be weird and it's an individual basis kind of what I'm saying to different souls, but what my, my strategy has been, which I'm loving, is to actually do the video um, message and being able, because the text sometimes back and forth can just seem so, um, I just detached and distant at times, and it can also be efficient, but for me, my strategy this last um, week has been to reach out in video messages and just say, hey, I thought of you because, and whatever I love about that person, just really dropping into gifting them with what we call edification, gifting them with this mirror of what we see their gifts to be. Um, and already I'm, I'm making my list based on who is coming to me in my heart. Who am I intuitively saying, yeah, I'm gonna reach out to that person. And, and not judging that they are, you know, more powerful or more wealthy or of, of higher class or a doctor or a naturopath or like some of my friends in the medical field, I'm an occupational therapist. And it's like this feeling like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to reach that high, but it's like, reach up people. We are reaching up. And um, I just, the worthiness in that, just really em embodying the worthiness. Um, so asking questions, I thought of you because... Um, seeing you have so much success in your other business, I really admire these things about you. And I just wanted to share that I couldn't be more grateful for what's come into my life. Um, and if you'd like to know a little bit more about how to earn income from home, residual income, I'm here to support that. I'm working with a beautiful transformation company. And I know you're all about transformation. You know, a lot of the people I'm reaching out to are healers, practitioners. Um, and just be really in that belief, that belief that I know that with these tools of what we have, that we are giving a gift. And um, whether it's the community of support during these times. Some are looking for that community, whether it's the financial piece, whether it's the health products to really 
embody um, the vibrancy that we're all looking for. So kind of like, we know we have something for everyone. So what is that person just tuning into the heart before you reach out? What is that person, what's their pain possibly? You know, what is, what are they really looking for? Um, and if we're talking long, we're talking wrong. <laughs> so keep, keep keeping it brief. We don't need to explain all the superfoods and why, you know, our wheatgrass is best. And, you know, it's like, that's all there for us. We have plenty of tools for that. But really, my connections are individualized in video, just from the heart. When I'm feeling empowered, after I've often worked out or just done some affirmations and, um, Yeah, asking the question, you know, you, you, this question, like, you, you must love what you do, or do you, are you, how are you, how are you feeling about what, what, what you've been doing, you know, how's your work going, asking the questions about work and money, depending on where we are in the process of, of making these connections, you wouldn't want to say that right off the bat to someone, um, but just authentically asking, you know, how's your business, that yoga online business going? You know, are all those Venmo five and ten dollar payments really paying off? I'm not going to say that, but asking, how's your business, online business going? Um, and leading an opportunity for opening for me to share. Um, so I don't mean to be too scattered. Maybe if we're looking for just a script, um, asking, you know, don't be weird. <laughs> I thought about you because. And do you mind if I send you a link? Once they, once we kind of get some engagement, would it be okay if I sent you a link or sent you a little info about that? And just keeping it real brief and simple. And um, knowing we're worthy of reaching up. Heck yeah. Yeah, and this container is so priceless. I've really enjoyed this, um, Christina, for opening this and why I feel like it's rippled out to the rest of our period community because we can be a little more confident container we know we're held we know we're all doing this together and kind of putting that headspace the momentum of like yeah let's get it cracking i'm excited <laughs> awesome thank you so much allison beautiful so i was typing up a lot of what allison shared so many golden nuggets in there and a really great flow of that whole like this is what i was thinking about you here's what i appreciate about you asking a question how's your business going are you are you would you be open to checking out what i found telling a little bit about her story hey i'm at home making residual income which has been priceless in these times is that something you might be looking for and want to check out some information so um mercedes is asking what link do we share personally i i share and i always type out www.superfood.social because if you type the W's, it makes it clickable for them. Um, and then I'll backslash, if, if I've led with the business, social sharing. If I've led with the transformation, slash ULT, lowercase. Um, if I've just generally talked about superfoods, like I did recently, I'm gonna share a, a thread that I shared with somebody recently. Um, I just do slash superfoods because it gives more of an overview. And then I, um, yeah, if somebody wants to type up what I said, if not, I'll get to it when I'm not talking. And then I also send a video. So I personally, I always send the website and a video. That way, if they're the kind of person who's like, I just want to jump right into a video, I don't, I don't like want to navigate a website, they have that. Or if they're like, I'm not ready for a video, I want to like go browse, they have that. They have two options and obviously the website has tons of videos um so ult rather michelle rather than uot um and then but thank you for that and then um and then the videos i send again are going to be dependent on how i led so um if it's if i've led with the business personally i think um that Sunday call, the Sunday calls are usually business forward. These are our prospecting calls, 30 minutes that Ashley Castro primarily has been leading and they're phenomenal and they just keep getting better. So last, I usually send the previous Sunday's call. Um, last Sunday's was excellent, super great, just wonderful. However, some of the Sunday calls have themes. And if the person you're talking to, just like Allison said, know your person and customize the way you're prospecting. 
uh, Melissa is really ex and and the tool you send should be whatever you're most excited about because your excitement is more important than any facts or any info. Um, that's what people are going to feel more than anything that's said or shared. So, um, so if, so Melissa has been sharing a call at one of Ashley's calls that I was on because she just, it was happened to be like right when everything was, coming up about the civil rights movement. And I was just sharing my story around that and why Perium is such a solution for me in these times. And that's relevant for her and what she feels will speak to her people. So getting acquainted with the tools yourself and just finding what excites you and what do you feel will excite somebody. Um, yeah, and all replays are now found in superfood.social slash replays. So you never again have to go scrolling through the Facebook messenger threads trying to find your stuff. It's all right there. Also, I keep like my go-to sharing links in the notes section on my phone. So it's all just like right there. I can like copy and paste and send within seconds when somebody says, yes, I would love to learn more. It's just, I have it right there. So that's business. One of the Sunday calls is typically what I send. If it's product, um, I believe Ashley recently did a, pro, uh, did a transformation. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I, for a while, I was sending the giveaway link for Ashley's transformation call, but it's kind of outdated. We're not doing a giveaway. Somebody remind me if she did a re more recent product call. Um, Otherwise, you know, you might send farm to family or you might send um, every once in a while, I will send um, the bit.ly B-I-T slash L-Y dot L-Y slash ultimate life transformation. This is a corporate link. It's the only corporate link I've ever fallen in love with. And it's just a gorgeous spread of the transformation. This would be somebody who is a little bit more mainstream and our superfood social might seem more alternative for them. And they just want to hear about the transformation. They're not interested in the business. So that's who I send that link to. Oh yeah, mama, you got to check out the farm to family video. This is like the video that Ashley Castro saw and was like, whoa, what's Perium? I got to get involved. Um, yep, check out the app. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. And it talks more about the farm and all of that. Um, the app, by the way, is being updated in time for, and this brings me to one of the announcements that I'm so excited to bring to this call and start really promoting. All of us here are, um, are invited and welcome and to in lieu of our annual convention. So this is not a replacement for, but happened to be at the same time as our annual convention would have been, could we be gathering in person. We are doing a virtual summit, which is really more of a celebration. It's a celebration for the fact that the company just doubled in the last six months. And if you were in here in January, when Amy like would come on Zooms and say, I have, she literally, I'm getting chills right now, but she came on in January and was like, I have a vision that we are going to double by June. And I was kind of like, okay, that's really lofty. We haven't really had that kind of growth in years. The company did at the beginning, but in years we hadn't been in that kind of growth. I'm just like, okay, cool. I'll work in alignment with that. Yeah, rah, rah, we're going to double. You know, drop a one if you were here in January and you are in the same place. Just kind of like, okay, Amy, sure. And, um, and we doubled in five months. Her prediction was we were going to double in six months and we doubled in five months. That is extraordinary. And so we're doing a celebration. We have this virtual summit. It's going to be, it's not going to be crazy. It's not going to be like convention where like our activity list is packed all day long and into the night and all that. It's not going to be like that. Friday night is a big diamond party. Um, there's going to be, you know, for everybody who's ever hit diamond, um, 
All right, Lisa, if you can mute, it's not letting me mute you for some reason. Um, there's going to be all of that and um, just just a really fun dive with all the diamonds and crowns. So that's going to be Friday night. And then Saturday, there's going to be some programming. Not all day. It's going to be brief and focused. If you can get together with people and do watch parties together or Facebook Live watch parties. Um, yeah, the Saturdays for everybody. Absolutely. Um, it's going to be great. It's going to be, we're going to be, everybody who has ranked since last year's convention is going to be featured. You're going to get your, um, you're going to get a certificate for whatever ranks you've been achieving. And whenever it's like time, you get to like hold it up and, you know, just get, get celebrated. It's like so much celebration. And then they're going to be rolling out all the brand new stuff. So brand new app coming. It's going to be off the hook way better. Like I wouldn't necessarily say right now, Melissa is the time to dive into the app. All is all I'm saying. That's how I got into this whole thing is the new app is coming out and it's going to be way better. I personally don't use the app. It's just not my jam. Superfood social is our tool right now. Um, they're going to be rolling out brand new lifestyle guide. So for those of you who are brand new, you have not been getting this booklet in your boxes. Um, but the, um, there's going to be a brand new booklet, which will be a, a nice, glossy, you know, useful guide for people who are getting into a transformation for the first time. Um, it'll have, you know, just like feature more diversity. It'll be more updated to the 30 day program. Um, yeah, brand new, lots of fun stuff. Great question. The dates of the online summit. I'm going to cry sometime right at the beginning of August, probably the first weekend, I'm going to look it up or somebody else can look it up and type it in there. Um, there is a link. We'll put it in the team manifest thread again. It's been in there before, but we'll update it. So it's all about us showing up, making it super fun, promoting it to your teams, people who aren't here on this call. Okay. Awesome. Allison's got it. Um, and yeah, it's going to be really fun. If I'm going to find out what the laws are right now in Hawaii, I don't even know how many people can gather legally, but I'm having a party for however many people I can. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, okay. August 7th to 9th. Thank you, Dana. Beautiful. Um, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So I guess there's something on Sunday too. We can all check out the schedule, but get excited and mark it on your calendar. That's the most important thing is just to really prioritize it. And if you have a team, just like Allison said, whatever you do, your team does in excess, right? Because there's many more of them. So if you do one thing, you're going to watch all these other people duplicate that. Same thing with showing up for the virtual summit. And I just want to say, because it's similar to convention, like this is a time to really like dress up. I think I might have a, I might have like a, um, I don't know, some kind of fun, like, costume contest not costume but um you know a uh what's the right word um not adornments but attire attire so this is a time to like show up as our best um it's gonna i mean there's gonna be like hundreds and hundreds of people on these zoom like pages and pages of zoom so on camera it's gonna be fun as fun as we can get in these times um, okay, enough about that. This is a this is a work party. Our next speaker is somebody who has recently hit director for the first time. Um, got has gotten into action and is bringing in a team. Has really been showing up, super active on Zooms, on Threads, on in groups, and um, and it's obviously paying off. And has teams, team members who are coming in and ranking too. So. Michelle, I'd love to hear from you. Just if you could tell us what is working for you as far as, um, first of all, let me, let me start with this. What was the pivot for you about like getting back into action? You, you had a bunch of growth, what, a couple months ago, and then there was a lull and something happened recently and all of a sudden you're like back at it. What was the pivot for you? Hi, thanks, Christina. Yeah, it's been it's been exciting. Um, I 
did my nutrients first and was on a big healing journey. And when I got back from Mexico in April, I had been listening in with one ear into the meetings and, and not doing much. And then um, in April, when I got home, everybody who knew what I was going through in my health crisis took one look at me and said, I want what you have, whatever you're doing, I want to do it, including my husband, which was really helpful in my own household. Um, and that was great. And um, then June rolled around and, and I had some customers and I was just really happy with that. I didn't have a, a huge demand. My why is so long and deep and honestly re-traumatizing sometimes that I wasn't really telling my story. I was just happy with customers. Um, and in June, I had a friend um, re rejoin Perium with me and um, her why was so strong that I realized that that was my why, you know, my why could be other whys, you know, share, share the story. And so it, it became about her why. And then I heard a couple of things by coming to the Zooms. And one was um, Robin Tala saying, would you hire yourself? To work at your own business so would you hire you and and if not what has to shift and make a contract with yourself to be in this and not quit for a year and really just show up and stay close to the fire and so that was that was one of the pivot points for me um the other pivot point for me i think was um sorry i'm just collecting my thoughts here was I had another, um, oh, I, and it might've been you, Christina, I can't remember who said it, but it was just people are praying for this. I was praying for it. And that really hit home to me that like, just get out of my own way. So I started waking up and I always meditate when I wake up in the morning and when I go to bed at night, but I really shifted my focus of my meditation of just let me be the space let me be the container for whoever needs this. And may I just show up in the way that people need this and, and show me who they are. Um, because I didn't want to sell and I, I wasn't, I just wasn't in that mode. And um, that's what really pivoted for me, just showing up every day, no matter who showed up to my little, you know, work sessions before our team calls. and showing up to the tracker sheet, showing up to the action plan. Um, my first several tracker sheets had designs all over them because there was so much blank spaces I was getting frustrated and I just started doodling in there and writing mantras. That was another thing that helped me pivot. And just realizing that I was already in the river of wellness. I was already in the river of being a leader and having my own business, but I just had my boat turned upstream. And so I just, took these little nuggets from everybody and started getting my boat turned downstream. Another thing that really helped me was learning the difference between a pyramid scheme, multi-level marketing, direct sales, just so I had the language because there were some people pushing back against that with me, um, learning how to soften my language with myself and um, also not qualifying people, pre-qualifying people. So I made my list of a hundred people. I put stars next to who I wanted to work with. And then I put that aside and just started praying for the people to come through who were praying for it. So those two things in particular though, um, helped me pivot and get out of my own way. Awesome. Thank you so much. Those are some great tips there. I love how you said you made your list. You didn't pre-qualify people, put everybody on the list and, and put that aside. And then also, like Allison said, using that intuition, just calling in, like who's really just coming to mind, coming to heart of who's calling this in and I want to reach out to right now. So can you give us, um, can you walk us through a conversation of that you have had recently or that you're you know, a, a kind of a common conversation or a specific conversation that you're having? 
Yeah, I've, I've been focusing lately um, on going through my contacts and seeing who are the influencers. And I have a lot of yogi friends and practitioner friends. Um, am I still here? I just see a green circle. Oh, it might be somebody not muted. Yeah, you're good. Okay, I didn't know if you could hear me. Um, and so I've been focusing on on the influencers. And so I'm really just using Ashley Castro's script along with, um, you know, personalizing it if they're a friend of mine and, and just uh, edifying them, of course. And then just really, um, just I think normalizing this whole situation has been really helpful to me. Like I would talk about anything I love to anybody. And, and so just really normalizing this as not a business, but just wanting to bring health to people. So saying, um, you know, hey, um, do you have a partner with brands that align with your core values? If so, um, would, I, uh, would it be okay if I sent you a link to check out for a part possible partnership? You know, I know with all this stuff with COVID and having to take my yoga practice and nutrition practice online primarily, this has really helped um, uh, create a nice foundation for my clients and my clinical practice. And, um, you know, people are either saying yes or no, but then just understanding that the no's are no's for now. And then, you know, this whole piece of making my teammates wise, my why is, um, and something I learned from my upline was that to be generous and to continue to create value. So we have product that has an enormous amount of value. Um, our, uh, my direct upline is uh, Mary Dana, Mary Beth, who has created a container for a 30 day transformation website, which is amazing value. And then really just, um, showing up for my team in a way that is also generous and supportive and creating value for them. So I have um, stepped into my own leadership role with providing um, the ability for my team to bring me clients who want to talk about their nutrition and their health and helping them understand how they may be dealing with toxic trauma um, from just intake of the standard American diet or, or um, trauma really from any, anything and um, how going through the gut to get to the nervous system can um, really alleviate their symptoms. Um, and that has provided a tremendous amount of value. Um, so um, the conversation that I'm having with my downline prospects is basically nutrition. And I, um, the feedback that I'm getting from my team is it's been nice to bring my, their family members and friends and prospects to a third person who could have a health conversation with them where they can open up um, instead of, um, you know, telling them they need this in their lives. And it's just your friend telling you you need something instead of, you know, here's um, somebody who can talk about the products and the nutrition aspect of it. Um, and and, and people are just on board. They're seeing the value in that. They're seeing themselves. I think my story is relatable from a health perspective. And, um, and then most of the conversations I'm having right now are with influencers and um, what's been happening. Like today I had three messages in my inbox of people um, just seeing me comment on things and saying, can you help me? And so I'm getting nutrition clients naturally and through my downline and also working with, um, with influencers. I don't know if that, did that answer your question? Yeah, great. So you mentioned, um, yeah, I love all of that. And you mentioned that in order to speak to these influencers, you're usually using a script that Ashley, that you got from Ashley Castro. Do you happen to have that in front of you and you could read it to us? Yeah, as a matter of fact, when we're working today, I have somebody who responded to me and I would love to, um, you know, pose it as a question to the group on how to answer her. So um, let's see. I just have to grab her. So if you want to give me a second. Mm -hmm. 
So with this particular person, she's a business coach, but she's partnered and she's moved away from partnerships, but she's partnering with educational institutions. Um, and so I told her a little bit about my story. I said, wondering if you ever partner with brands that align with your core values. If so, would you take a look at a possible partnership if I sent you some information? And then I wrote email or messenger, assuming, and that's the other thing in my conversations, I'm having the conversations with people, and this is huge, that where I'm already assuming we're doing this together because I'm praying for the people to come through who are praying for this. And during that conversation, at some point, they're connecting and they're resonating with this background of relatedness that I'm creating. And so when I'm talking, um, even to just nutritional clients versus I'm already assuming we're moving forward in this conversation in this way on this trajectory and um, holding space for that. So I said, email or messenger. And she said, um, at this time, I'm not partnering with other brands. Do you want me to kind of go through the? More just, you, what, just uh, what, yeah. What, yeah, more just what you're saying. Like, what, what is the piece that, um, the script that you got from Ashley Castro? And I'm guessing it's from her last social media. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So that's the script. And this particular person said, I'm not partnering with anybody but educational institutions right now. And then it's kind of like, I could have taken that as shutting the door, but I didn't want to shut the door. So I said, wow, it's great that you're partnered with educational institutions. I said this to somebody else. It's great that you're partnered with a company that you love. Um, I would love to hear more about what you love about it and who you're partnering with. And so just keeping the conversation going so it doesn't seem like I was just you know, in this conversation just for a prospect. And now it's like, oh, well, okay, see you later. Like, I want to stay involved. I want to know what they're doing too. Mm -hmm. So, um, brilliant. Thank you. Yeah, Michelle, that is great. So what you guys are hearing is posture. Michelle has upped her posture. She's like, I am, I am, I am acting in alignment with that. I've made, I've already made the decision that I am acting in service for people who are calling this in. And I've already said that I'm, I'm receiving the names of people who are calling this in. So that tells me that most of the conversations I'm going to be in are, are in alignment with that. And I'm just going to, I'm going to posture that way. This is happening. We are collaborating and I do the same thing. Like when I talk to people, even if they don't ever sign up with Perium, I already know that we're collaborating on just like creating a better planet because that's why I reached out to them. They're doing that in their way. So on some level we are collaborating. So it's that posture. And then I love that about holding that door open. That's also like, you know, new people or people who are still working on building belief and cultivating posture will often get those like, no, I'm not part, you know, like I'm only doing this and like, okay, thanks. You know, and, and then move on. But what Michelle is doing is totally what I do too, is like finding the question. I, re I, I respond to every block or pretty much anything anybody says with a question to keep the door open, keep the conversation going and finding out and being more interested than interesting, finding out more about what they're doing and edifying that is perfect. So thank you so much, Michelle. That was great. Congrats on your success. And um, let's just take all of that and get into action. I did say I was gonna drop one more really short, quick, simple, easy conversation that I've been in that I, um, this is somebody I've like wanted to prospect for a long time and just like never got around to it because I don't know them that well. So it's just somebody who lives in our community who I know is vegan. That's all I know. And um, sorry, I should have pulled this up beforehand. I can add something while you're looking. Okay, go ahead. That last snippet of keeping the door open, I really, I, and I have been this whole time, I've really been leaning into my upline and transposing conversations in there and asking for the languaging because I, I knew I didn't want to leave it hanging but 
but it felt like I, I was if I walked away. And so really just asking my upline for that coaching and, um, and, and staying, staying close to that, to that fire and leaning, leaning in. Um, I also asked my downline team what, you know, what is working for us and why, why they're here with me and why they show up every day. And I got um, commitment, uh, des developing a system for sharing resources, the knowledge of the nutrition, um, support and organization. So that was the feedback from my team. Awesome. Yeah, definitely reach up. I've literally been on a phone call with somebody and been like, can you hang on a second? I got my up. Hey, what do I say to this? Like really it, it, if you want to grow with this, do not hesitate to lean up and be coachable and ask tons of questions. We're here for you. Um, so great. So this is just a really simple conversation I had. Okay. He's Swedish too. So I wrote it in Swedish. Hey, Matthias, who Gorda. Hey, hey, Matthias, how's it going? I've, and then I wrote the rest. I started to write it all in Swedish and then I was like, my Swedish isn't that professional. I'm gonna do the rest in English. I've thought of you guys because I've been working with an incredible line and I almost never lead with product, by the way. So I'm like proud of myself for this. Um, I've been working with an, and I just jumped right to it. Like I didn't even, you know, because I've been working with an incredible line of vegan superfood nutrition and wondered if you'd be interested in checking out a link to see if it might be something you'd be into. If not, no worries. Hope y'all are well these days. So I just was like, all right, I'm jumping right into it. What I know is that he and his wife are vegan. They, um, they are the ones who like hounded my husband for like a year to get vegan cheese at the pizzas at my husband's store. So I know they're really into vegan. I also, from my own personal opinion, they don't, he doesn't seem that healthy. <laughs> like he could use some superfoods and a transformation. Um, and then he wrote back, hi, I'd love to check it out. Please forward a link and I'll browse. We are well, M. And I write, good to hear. One of these days, I would love to come visit the animals with the kids too. They have this like vegan animal sanctuary farm. Um, this nutrition and the athletes products have changed my life. Enjoy checking it out. So there I'm dripping a little bit about my story, right? A little bit about like why it, why I'm excited to share about this. And then I send superfood.social slash superfoods. Cause I didn't even talk about a transformation. So I'm just like broad superfood link. Boom. That's it. And then I'll follow up. That was yesterday. So sorry, Siri. Um, that's it. So here we go. We're going to get into action. If you have a tracker sheet, drop a one in the comments. If you printed out the new tracker sheet, ooh la la, we have a new tracker sheet that's synced up with the UBT week. If you don't know what that means, reach up to your upline UBT. So now the tracker goes from Saturday through Friday. Super exciting. Um, today's Wednesday. It's totally possible for anyone here to hit a UBT this week, even if we don't have a single enrollee yet. And anything you do to strive for that goal now will pay off, even if it doesn't happen this week, will pay off the following week, guaranteed. Um, that's how it works. It's a numbers game. The amount of seeds you plant with, with posture, with the language, will result in germinating seeds. It just happens. You've heard from success stories. So here we go. Hey, can I ask Allison a question really quick? Yeah, let me hear uh, Camille too for new people. If you don't oh. want to hear the chatter, you're welcome to mute us out and just know that we're here like sending you positive energy. But if you, if this is helpful, feel free to listen in. So yes, this is a, it's an action party slash coaching on being in action. Thank you. Um, Allison, I was, um, thank you for sharing your story. That was awesome. There was a ton that I really learned from you. Um, quick question on the video chats. How do you do that? Is that Facebook or Instagram? Can you just tell me exactly how you go about it? Yeah, that's been mostly through Facebook Messenger. Um, I have sent also a few videos just direct dialing if I have the person's phone number. I haven't done anything like that on Instagram. I haven't hacked that yet, 
Um, although that's a platform that is definitely, I, I feel superior to Facebook as far as, you know, what we're putting out there and being able to reach influencers. Um, does anyone have a, a tip on how to get that through Instagram? But yeah, Facebook Messenger mainly, and there's like the little video button. Um, I believe it keeps it to about a minute clip. So that keeps us short and concise. <laughs> you can always do a couple. Okay, awesome. Thank you. I've never tried that feature, so I'm definitely going to do that. Thank you. Are you meaning it's an audio clip, not a video clip, right? Allison, are you saying there's a video clip? Mm -hmm. Video. You just hit the camera button in your Ooh. Facebook message by the text thread. So I would love coaching around the rest of this conversation with what's the best way to do that? Should I just kind of read through the exchange? Um, the one where you ask, where you continue to ask her what, what um, the question you asked her about being interested in what she had found? And yeah. has she responded to that? Um, I, well, I continued with, um, I was a full-time substitute and professional, and I would love to partner with institutional educations and support families through holistic wellness and mindfulness practices. And then she responded. And so you, you're asking for coaching on how to respond to her response? Yes. Okay. So what she did. What did she um, She sent a voice clip, but can I try playing it and see if it works? Um, maybe just like summarize. Um, it, that, that way you can really like, you can really I, be listening for what is she saying. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'd have to listen to it again mm -hmm. a couple of times, but um, if yeah, you all right, well, hang on. Yeah, you can do that and then let me know what the gist.
Okay, got it. So she said, I love what you're doing and it's all good stuff. And she recommends that I work with a business coach and have marketing in place to communicate um, to who to who I want to, what I want to, to help and serve them. And she said, if there's anything that she can do to support me, she will. And she said, if I'm, if, if I'm looking for something in particular to just come right out and ask her, she's okay with people pitching to her and she will tell me if it's a good fit or if she can help me or if she knows someone who it might be a good fit for. Great. Pitch away. <laughs> I mean, I already had shared the link. Um, I don't think I've shared the link. I can't hang on a second. I haven't shared, uh, I haven't shared the link yet. So because at first she told me she's not partnering with anybody. And now she's like, well, pitch to me. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so, she could end up being a really happy, loyal customer too. Right. So how does that you know, short few sentences go? Is it just the link? Do I preface it with, great, I'm, here I go. You know, or, you yeah, know, how do I that's, that's what I would do. I would go into that frequency that she's saying she's, She's just opened the door to saying, yes, I want to, I want to check it out. You know, like I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I am listening. She's like, I'm, my ears are open. I'm ready to listen to whatever you want to say. So I would, I would, I would meet, I would like, just like you said, great. Like I would be like bringing up the energy with that. Like, wonderful. I'm excited to share with you what I have. And then I, and then, and then be cool and be like, and see, if it resonates with you and see if it could be something that fits into what you're already doing or like you said is a solution that somebody you know is calling in because that's all we're doing we're just looking for who wants to take a look and see if it resonates so she's saying i'll take a look and see if it resonates so you're so, so celebrate that and then, and then I would just say, um, I would be, since she's saying, just like get, get right to it, say, we have two pathways. One is for people who are looking for, you know, ways to feel better, increase energy, you know, um, ha increase gut health and immunity or whatever you want to say about product. We have, you know, top of the line superfood products that you can take a look at and see if this is something you might be calling into your life. Or we have a brand partner path. So if you are seeking any kind of another um, income stream that could fit, you know, that could weave into what you're already doing or know anybody who is looking for extra income right now, you can learn about that in the website as well. So I would just send superfood.social and let her browse it. And thank her for being open to taking a look and being willing to refer people to you. So yeah, that's a really beautiful professional conversation.
my um do I write something at the end about following up in a couple of days? And I know some people on my team also asked this instead of like, hey, I'll, you know, leaving it open or, you know, how do we kind of wrap it up so that we um, can follow up within a couple of days? So <clears throat> um, when somebody says they'll check out a link, I do this sometimes and I, and I really want to do it more because I think it's like the most professional way to handle is that when you say, great, I'm going to be, um, here's the link, um, enjoy checking it out. I'd love to follow up with you after you've had a chance to check it out. When do you see yourself having time to do so? And then, and then if they get back to you and say, you know, oh, I think, and, and if it's a video, I'll say, um, you know, when do you see yourself having 30 minutes to check out this video? And then um, they say, you know, um, I think I can make time for that like Tuesday evening and, I, and then I'll write back, great. Um, how's Wednesday at 10 for following up? Um, so you can actually schedule your follow-up in the initial prospecting dialogue which is like, I heard Eric Ware train on this, um, which is super pro tip because then you're not in that place of like, have they checked it out? Am I being pushy if I ask? Like, do they hate me? You know, like all the stories, you can just be like, great. And then, you know, and if you have to reschedule it, you reschedule, but it's definitely professional. And anybody that you're calling in as a brand partner is gonna respect that, so. It's a great habit. We don't train enough on that. I just remember like finding that on like an Eric Warre random podcast one day and I was like, ooh, nice pro tip. So it's a good one. Hey, Christina, for someone interested in the athlete's transformation and getting some of this buzz that I've been posting for this booty yoga, um, are we going to be continuing that on like beyond this 30 day challenge? Like, is there a way to keep the hype going and keep some of that momentum going for the athlete's transformation? It seems like some of my people are just now catching that and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been feeling the same thing. Um, and so we don't have a group as a team. We don't have like any particular promotional materials for a group cleanse this, um, this month, like as a Bliss Ohana team. But, um, you know, we can always promote 
uh, transformation. And I, I personally was going to, I was feeling like what I want to promote is, you know, kind of helping people see like, Hey, there's two paths to go with this. Um, like you can do the full transformation or you can bring this nutrition into your life and include athletes products to boost your performance. And this is what I've been doing the past month. And I'll be supporting people to do that again next month and continuing on with it myself. So that's probably really similar to how you would be sharing about it. Um, I mean, we could always create promotional materials. Um, I'm not opposed to that. Like I've, I've definitely been feeling like I want to, and then I thought about like, do we want to pick dates again? We're not going to necessarily do a cash prize giveaway, but I think there's enough like excitement and hype now and people are seeing all these posts and getting excited. Um, and they're going to be seeing our before. And I mean, they're, they're, you know, they're going to be seeing some pretty exciting before and after pictures um, enough to where they don't need a cash prize to incentivize them. <laughs> um, so I could see doing, um, doing another like August 5th or something like that to make it, um, you know, to give it a, 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 a call to action, kind of like order your products by the end of the month, be in time and we could pick a different date too. Um, but I think that would be great. Let's do it. And I, I, I could probably be game to make flyers. I have, if you guys don't know, I have a flyer addiction. I like love making flyers. <laughs> it's like my it's like my like unwind art now <laughs> nowadays and just like make flyers awesome and then that call that we had for the athletes transformation um like as far as the athletes a tool for the athletes what would you send a video we so need this we um If it's somebody who really wants to dive deep, there's like, there's that, that video that Rachel Ballin saw, Rachel Hortense, Ikaika and Dave made, um, there's half hour of their presentation and another half hour of questions, I think. So you can send it as an hour long video, mm -hmm. half hour. I, I personally, I would say that's probably the best one Erica and I <clears throat> but on the other hand that one Erica and I did with Rachel was also really good Rachel's story oh, yeah. yeah that I was a good that. one how, okay. how, what's that one called I can find that in the in the shared replay section of superfood social no, because I've been delinquent about putting my replays in there it's probably on my YouTube that's my goal this week. Catch up on my replay contributions. What YouTube, Mama? Christina Mon, maybe. Okay, I've crafted my reply. Can can I read it? Mm -hmm. Thank you for creating the space. I'm excited to share with you with I ha with you what I have and see if it's a fit for you or if it might be a fit for someone you know. We have two pathways, one to increase gut health and immunity with top of the line organic superfood nutrients. These saved my life after a toxic trauma by accessing the nervous system through gut health. We also have a brand partner pathway. So if you're looking for an income stream that may weave into what you're doing, or if someone you may know is looking to partner with an exceptional organization or green economy, we have an amazing affiliate partnership structure. This is a great website to surf around in that will tie it all together. And then Superfood Social. I would love to follow up with you after you've taken a look. When do you see yourself having time in the next few days? Thank you so much for being open to taking a look and for your willingness to refer people to me. Bless. 
Perfect. I would add one more sentence right after the, the part about affiliate marketing. I would add one sentence in there that says, um, personally, what you're excited about that you're creating with this, like maybe say something about your why. This is the vehicle I found in order to create as have so many before been able to create six and seven figure residual income streams with this. Just to really let, you know, cause when I hear affiliate, it's kind of like, yeah, you know, if I like, you know, um, should I take out the affiliate part and just say an amazing, amazing no. partnership structure? No, I would just add to it. I would, that's fine. I just wouldn't leave it at that. Cause it just, for me, it's like, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't speak like, abundance to me it's just like yeah like affiliate marketing like it's a it's a it's a thing you could get like 15 bucks but um so this this uh this is the vehicle i have found i i lost it after that um you could just say something like i'm personally excited about what this vehicle or how I'm using this vehicle to create blank for my life by following in the mentorship or, you know, or following in the footsteps of my mentors who are creating six and seven figure incomes with this. Residual income. That's what to me would stand out versus just like the word affiliate marketing. Like I think of like how Amazon's like send a friend and make 15 bucks. And I'm like, is that even worth my time? But residual income, six or seven figure, I'm like, ooh, <laughs> tell me more. Christina, can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. So I have a sister-in-law who has no social media, but she is a phenom saleswoman. And she, um, they're, her and my brother uh, live in Colorado and they created all their own businesses by, she's a cold call salesperson. That's what she's done her whole life. And she is phenomenal at it, creating six and seven figures on her own. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're just, they bought a, a brick and mortar and they're now tired of it after five years. And now they want to get back to their, um, you know, with all this going on, their online stuff. And so how do I get her, you know, to kind of, um, without social media, you know, how do I get her to kind of, um, get on board and to be able to do this business without social media? Mm -hmm. Well, um, have you shared anything with her so far? Yes, I just did this morning. So I just sent her to superfoodsocial.com. Okay. Uh, and I did not send a video because I just um, heard that this morning also. So to add a video to that. So I mean, that's uh, just what I do. But. Yeah, no, I think it's a good idea. So I'll send a, her a video as well. And um, they are very busy uh, business owners. So, um, but I also think that she would love it because they're very, um, they eat organic, they eat very healthy. And they both are very fitness oriented. So, um, but no social media. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I mean, it could go a couple of ways. One is she could get excited about what we have and decide that she's willing to do social media. I mean, that, that was me. I was not into social media. I had it, but it was like, I had a couple hundred friends and I didn't really use it. But when I connected with my why and saw that this is something that's going to help me achieve my why and that nothing else is offering that, then for me, the sacrifice of getting uncomfortable and using social media became a willing, a, a worthwhile sacrifice in order to achieve my dreams. So just, you know, getting her on a connect call opening up and just seeing where it goes, asking the right questions. Like I would just get her on a, if she's interested, if she checks out the website and is like, this is really interesting, I would get her on a connect call. And it's possible that people can build this. Like if she already has those skills and she, you know, a lot of people grow their business online because they're not comfortable 
just cold calling a bunch of people. Like she already has that working for her. Like, okay, she can. And then she might see, you know, social doing it on social media is just easier. Really. It's, it's not that you can't go old school and do the whole like telemarketing thing or whatever it's called, but it's just for us. We're like, we don't really want to do that. So let's just cast a wide net and put our story on social media um, and see more results faster. So it's really like, it's possible. Um, there's, there's an influencer in our company who doesn't use social media. Like he already has this big network and he just works his network. Um, there's probably, there's probably other stories like that. So I think the main thing is just not to overthink it yourself and don't let things like that um, like stop you from just walking her through the same process that you would with anybody else. And you never know what happens for people along the way. That's great. That's what Michelle also told me to do. Don't uh, um, edify people and, you know, create your own door block. We'll edify them, but just don't. I mean, not edify, but yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. Oh, Michelle, that's a leader on the rise. I had recommended sending the Monday replay because there was a lot of, um, you know, practitioners on that call. I didn't know if it was okay to send the replay from the training on Monday, but I felt like it was, it was really powerful. And from somebody who is going to be talking to practitioners and has this network of people already that it, it really spoke to, you know, um, the, you know, practitioners seeing the value in this with just one look. And, and so, but I wasn't sure if sending the Monday replay was a good um, fit you know, if that's okay to do, I guess. Yeah, if it feels resonant and you feel like that would serve the purpose person in building value in what we have, that's fine. You know, most people as a prospect could be overwhelmed by something like that um, or it just isn't a fit, but if it feels like a fit, I mean, there's every once in a while, if I have a really right prospect who hasn't, who's been looking at other stuff and is excited but hasn't jumped in, I'll be like, hey, come come check out, come be a guest on our training call. Like I'll bring prospects to training calls, you know, when it's right, the right fit. Oh, cool. Allison put the link to the um, athletes call that Erica and I did. Okay, four more minutes. Way to stick it out, everybody. 90 minutes. And, um, you know, ideally you're doing this five times a week. That's our 10 hour a week template. Come to the tra two training calls and do five 90 minute time blocks and then come to the Sunday prospecting call. That's your 10 hour. If you can do that, if you can give that to your business each week, you will definitely launch a powerful residual income stream and it's still pretty part time. Any last questions or comments? I just wanna say, just getting in this frequency, I didn't even reach out to someone who was on my list and they just texted me. <laughs> So like this frequency is so powerful in magnetizing what we want in that quantum realm, just exponentially powerful. And thank you all for holding this space with me today.
and just because I'm inspired and we're in our own little pod here or in the team Zoom, I just want to bring in um, that, yeah, as the diamond now in this leadership spot, I'm finding myself in and leaning into that edge of like what it is to be a leader and not from an ego place, but like from a worthiness place and seeing myself as capable and how we can do this for our team. I know Christina has done this for me is re really seeing me as capable to um, own it and claim it and be consistent in it. And so how we can allow um, those on our downline to really um, rise by seeing them as capable. And thank you, Christina, for holding me in this space and all of you witnessing this process. And it's such a beautiful one, such a deep personal transformation process. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you, Allison. It's, I'm so happy to see you stepping in and rising up. Crown bound. All right. Well, I'm going to close this out here. Obviously, keep working if you're in the zone and um, have a great rest of the UBT run for this week. Um, come to our Thursday call tomorrow. Sarah's leading once again. It's going to be super juicy. Um, same time on the, on the Bliss Zoom uh, link and um, see you all there. Aloha.